It's oh. Did you shock it? No, you bumped the thing. Oh. I almost lost my. I did. Yeah. I didn't even feel it. Hmm. It's fine. There were no. There were. There were no accidents. The liquid. The liquid is still in the cup. That's what we were aiming for. Good morning, everybody. This is a very full cup. Whose cup? Yours. Well, mine has a lid. Well, that that's because I went for what? What? What do the sizes mean? It's it's six and then eight, or is it eight and then ten? Um, the middle one is eight. Okay, so yeah, that's that's what I thought. So this is ten then. It's ten ounces. That was a mistake. It's not a mistake if it fits. If it fits, then uh, I think it's fine. I did it, by the way. It's hot chocolate for breakfast. It's very hot. It's very full. It's also very full. So I'm gonna be gentle with it. Oh, and it's a uh, it's, uh, caramel hot chocolate. Back in, back at Christmas, you gave me all those like variety packs of hot chocolate. There's still some of those left, and uh, the one I put in this morning is caramel hot chocolate. I clean these. Do you want the thing? I already have it. Oh, oh. Well, if you have it, can I have After it? After I'm done with it. Okay. I never use that thing. The first thing I did when I sat down was clean them because I could see it, and then now I'm like, I did do I, a great I, job. I only use that on uh, at breakfast stream. Well, no. I do it whenever I put them on in the morning and I'm in the bathroom. No, I don't. I, to be honest, um, <sighs> breakfast stream is probably the only time I really, really need it, mm -hmm. because the there is a glare from the lights. Yeah, there is. And uh, during Friday's stream, I'm wearing contacts, so it doesn't matter. But I think this is actually really the only time I really do seriously need to clean my glasses. I can't believe how it makes such a big difference. Like, it does. You can, all of a sudden, it's like, oh. Like, there's little, like, let's call them micro dusts that are on your lenses. And you don't even realize it until you, you know, shoot several thousand lumens at your glasses and then you're like oh wait there might be something on these anyway hi it's uh thursday it is it is thursday i didn't know what to have with my hot chocolate so i grabbed some pop tarts thanks for bringing me a pop tart you can have one, if you want. It's, 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 there's, you know, every once in a while, I, I definitely, I'm like, I wish this was in a one pack. But am I going to eat just one and then put the other in a Ziploc? No, that's way too much effort. It is easier to just eat two. It's just the way it is. Well, flavor, uh, normal, normal flavor, normal flavor. What cut? What, I don't know. What Cinnamon it, brown sugar. Cinnamon. I consider this normal. <laughs> NDL. Shh. Listen. Unlike some people here, because some people are like, "Yes, hot chocolate every morning." I don't do hot chocolate <laughs> every morning. This is a this is a special occasion. When we ran that poll, what was it in like December or something? It blew my mind. I was like, "What?" <laughs> there were so many people who were like, "Yes, I drink it every morning." I'm like, holy cow. <laughs> so yeah, it's a, it's a special occasion. Some people might consider the uh, the strawberry. strawberry one normal. I, I I say normal is whichever one is probably the most average. So, yeah, thank you. Yes, a, a cup of sugar with my sad toaster pie. <laughs> it's fine. Hey, let's read some alerts. It's typically that's typically part of this. Uh, 16 months from uh, Sacrosalica says 16. Happy Thursday morning. Anyway, if you read this, it seems a lot of us are in PC slash computer horror. Uh, do you re do you recommend buying a pre-built PC? Okay, so we talked about this on uh, I think two. Well, I think we talked about it Tuesday and then also last Thursday too a little bit. How uh, 
GPU, GPUs and then some other parts are, are very hard to buy right now, but pre-builts might be available. Like if you really, like if you really, really want a 3080, you 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 might be able to get one if you get a pre-built PC. Um, I've asked Jeff about this as well because I trust Jeff's opinion far more than my own, um, and uh, he had good advice. It basically came down to like, what are your needs? Do you, do you need a computer? Like, do you have to get a computer soon? The answer might be yes. Like, yeah, I need I need a computer. I, I want to, you know, get a computer. Um, if so, then that might be your best option because we still do not know how long it'll take to get some of these parts. If, if, if it's not super vital, then you can just keep watching and refreshing and, and trying to get a hold of something. Um, and you have no idea how long it will take. Uh, but if you do go the pre-built route, Jeff recommends going with a, a reputable company that has warranty. And I think that that was really good advice. So instead of just buying any old thing to get access to the GPU, um, go with a company that's been around for a long time that you're going to get a warranty with. So if, if something is wrong, you can you know, fix it. Is it more expensive to do pre-built? Um, you know, often, <laughs> often, but at this point, it, it, you know, these cards have been out for a long time and they're still not available. And there's, there's nothing that's changing anywhere that will make them become more available. You know, that, that's the big part that sucks. It's not like it's not like demand is slowing down, so supply will increase. It's not. There's there's no reason that they'll become easier to get. So, um, something to something to keep in mind. And yeah, Aldo is a good point. It's more expensive, except for right now. True, because the markup on GPUs right now are is like three X, mm -hmm. which is insane. Like graphics cards that cost like five to seven hundred dollars are costing like fifteen to two thousand dollars fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars and that's ridiculous you should not pay that much for a graphics card like i mean your needs may vary and maybe you have to have one for whatever reason but like please don't do that please just buy a whole computer <laughs> just just buy a whole computer just do that Hmm. This is an ad. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna let this play. But we know how we feel about <laughs> music with lyrics. Sorry, Adri. Four months. From, uh, Halpondo. Who says, yay, four months. Sadly, uh, I have to work while you eat cereal and talk about cameras, math, and random acts of restaurant violence. But I'll be part of the VOD squad later on. Hope you are all well this morning. Well, thank you, Alfonso. And, uh, yeah, no cereal talk this morning. I got that out of my system. I still have so much, so, so much, um, Cocoa Krispies to eat. Like, there's an astounding amount because they come in costco size bags. But I'm, I'm working on it. 26 months from Kazuyume, who says, 20... 2016. <laughs> That's a year, actually. That was a year. It was five years ago. 2016 actually does feel like a long time ago. I'm okay with that being a while ago. Like, 2016? No, that was a long time ago. Even 2018 now feels fairly distant. I'm like, no, 2018 was fairly long time ago. That's true. We got 21 months from Tricky Anthea. He says, uh, hi, grandparents. Can I get some good vibes? My back license plate was stolen for some reason, and I had to report it to the police. Now I have to deal with the DMV again to get new plates Coffee. issued. Yeah. Good vibes. That sucks, also. Uh, you just, like, go to your car, and you're like, this is gone. Why is this gone? Why would someone take this? Yeah. Um, dealing with DMV is never fun. We, we've it, it depends where you are, because certain DMVs are not bad, but it, 
It depends. We get uh, five months from Clock9 who says, Sad news for my sub message. Uh, found out last night that my grandma passed away. Could use some good vibes while the family figures out plans. Good vibes. Good vibes. And I'm, I'm very sorry to hear that. It's always hard to lose, uh, to lose a relative. It's, it's certainly hard to lose a grandparent. And, um, you know, I, I, I hope that, that you have some peace and certainly your family has some peace, peace while you are figuring out all the stuff. It's hard to make, um, it's hard to make those sorts of plans too. Like it's, it's hard to, to deal with that situation, but especially in the midst of the tragedy itself. Um, so seriously, so many good vibes sent your way today. And, uh, I hope that, uh, your, your whole family is able to, to figure that out and, um, use this as a time to come together too. Uh, let's see. We got 11 months from Summer Sencha, who says, Good morning. A few days ago, I woke up with scratch marks on my throat. So I think my cat tried to kill me in my sleep, which I find just a little rude, but she's cute. So That's what we say about Kepi, but he's cute though. Yeah, even when he's doing something wrong. Even when he, and even when he's doing something wrong, it's it's hard to... It's hard to be upset. Of, it's been really hard to be upset of him for the past year. Mm -hmm. Um... After Sagan passed away, I found myself being way more um, lenient with Kep. And then, like, after, you know, six to nine months of that, my brain kind of was like, hey, you, you do have to make sure that he doesn't become a bad cat. And I was like, you're right, you're right. He's you're scratching right. my leg. Yeah, he's, he's actually, <laughs> he thinks your leg's a scratching post. It's like, yes, I should really... Stop that. should really, mm -hmm. you know, stop that. But he is cute, and it's very hard to say no to him sometimes, because I'm like, ah, oh, you're adorable. It's true. Three bits of man. He says, I was all set to have a bowl of sorrow, and only discovered after I had poured the milk that it had become partly solid, shall we say? On the upside, now it's just right for making soda bread. See, that's good. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. When life solidifies your milk, you make soda bread. It's a good use of, it's a good use of that. We had to, uh, we had to toss some uh, sour cream last night because we opened up the sour cream. There was v almost none left in there. Yeah. And we had another container, but we're like, well, let's see if this is okay. And we, we opened it up and um, it was not. <laughs> it was like, oh. Drink some of that, please. You're sitting there and like, I, listen, I am, I am well aware of where the jiggle is. I have got, I've got it mapped in my head. I know, I got it. I won't spill it, I promise. Okay. Hmm. It is nice to have hot chocolate, actually. Like, would I want it every morning? No. No, I would not. And I, I, I still feel like people that are drinking it every morning are are wild folks. That being said, is it is it nice? Yes. Yes, it is. I do enjoy it. 500 bits. From Arcane Leo who says, Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a good morning. We are. It's a fairly good morning. We took care of... We had to take care of some stuff um, out yesterday. Um, so we were out for a good bit of the... Uh, good bit of the day. <laughs> but now it's done. We forgot something. Yeah, that's, you know, if we wrote it down. It was written down. Look, where is it? Look. That's a, that, okay, that's a calendar. It has an alert for time. Does it? Mm -hmm. For what time? It was set for 11, so I would look at it right around the time we were like getting up and getting stuff ready to go but I missed it. Why didn't you set it for like when we were out? I don't remember. So we were supposed to stop there first on the way out. That had been the plan, but we left later than we wanted. Okay. We'll do it today, it, it's brief. Um, vlogs are caught up. Feels good to say that. Um, I've been working on all sorts of stuff for the last few weeks. And now that all that stuff is set, 
I'm back to working on, on vlogs. And when I say vlogs are caught up, I mean it. Yesterday's vlog is done. It's scheduled for three. It's already done. Enjoy. It feels, it feels good to be that far ahead. Like it feels good to go to bed having finished the vlog for the day that you lived and then put it up and just be, just be done. Yeah, but, but have you jumped the ditch? We talk about that a little bit in, the, in yesterday's yep. vlog. Because they've continued to do um, work. work behind the house. So it's actually getting wider. Mm -hmm. So like... And deeper. And deeper. In other words, I couldn't jump it before and now I really can't jump it. Like now it's it would be a fool's errand to even attempt to this thing. Um, <laughs> Renee, maybe you should get taller. So um, yeah, it mm, it's uh it would be it would be a a choice to attempt such a jump. Um, I would almost certainly break uh, my legs. <laughs> Or get really wet and ruin my shoes. Muddy. Yeah, muddy. And which one's worse? Breaking your legs. But uh, just in general, jumping over, that's probably not a great thing to do. Uh, 300 bits of throw down. Steven, we're taking away hot chocolate because hot chocolate is seasonal. Also, Steven, hot chocolate for breakfast. Well, it's a good opportunity to uh, remind everyone about these mugs because um, chats extreme push um, to get hot chocolate into the lead is what led to this thing even existing in the first place. Uh, these are around until the end of March, which is what? How many days? 13 days? So a little less yeah. than two weeks. So if you if you want a hot chocolate mug, you can get it in the next two weeks. The coffee and tea ones will stick around because they are equally sticking around on screen. But these are, we're gonna retire these from the merch store at the end of uh, March. Yeah. It is good. I do like hot chocolate. I've never said I didn't like hot chocolate. I've always liked hot chocolate. I just don't want to drink it every day. For breakfast. Unless it's December. In, De in December. In December. I'm like, eh. Yearly product? Maybe. Maybe. You know, maybe if we bring back hot chocolate on screen, we'll bring it back in the store or something like that. But for now, it'll be, uh, it'll be around for the next two weeks. Can you call Buddy? I, 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 I can. Do you want me to, yes. to call him? Yes. Cappy! Cappy, you down there? Yeah. Here, bud! Cappy! He'll probably come up in a second. Come here, Nobody bud! Nobody knows you're looking for him. Come here, Cap, Cap! The call has been put out. I put it out. We'll see what happens. Learned it from uh, Caber29. Be careful when the strong storm's coming through there today. We're having them here, too. Yeah. Um, so, first off, I hope everyone was uh, fine yesterday in, uh, like, the Mississippi area, Alabama. Tennessee. Tennessee. Um, there was some wild stuff. So, we were getting... So, we had an oil change yesterday. So, we actually sat in the waiting room and watched the Weather Channel. We already knew about the storms anyway. Um, but we just sat there and just watched the Weather Channel and saw all of this stuff like actively happening. So I um, hope everyone was all right. Uh, but those storms are now gonna be moving into this area tonight and they're like, not they're not good. They did a they're map. They're bad. Did you see the map? They did a map of like where things are gonna be severe and what the risks are. And um, it, <laughs> It's the same little bubble for, like, Wilmington to, like, Georgetown that's going to be the most severe. Yeah. So, um, we're definitely not doing driveway time tonight um, because tornadoes are, de are, you know, not part of driveway time. But uh, they're worried about, I mean, it's, obviously there's going to be crazy thunderstorms, but then on top of that, wind gusts uh, as, high as, as high as 75 miles per hour which is actually hurricane strength gusts, which is nuts. Um, 
they are worried about spawning multiple tornadoes, um, hail. Um, so that sucks. That's uh, that's bad. That's all not. We need to good. get our hurricane box out for lights and weather radio. Yeah. So um, that was another reason I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get that vlog out. I'm get that done. So uh, yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And hopefully everything will be all right. If we, you know, I'll let you know. I'll like post something on on Twitter or something that you know that things are things are okay. But we, yeah, we, it's it's possible we could lose power or something. Yeah. Um, we'll know more later. That doesn't come in until about um, I think four or five Eastern. Which is around when the rains and stuff start. Um, I think it's getting to Florence at around four. So us is like five, six, seven. It should be over by like eight or nine. Okay. Yeah. It goes for anyone else, you know, in the path of the storm today too. So just be careful. Thank you, Jules. Yeah, tornadoes are not something that I mean they. They're here, you know, they mm -hmm. happen here, but it's, it's somewhat rare. It's something that I don't worry about. Like, there's places in the U.S. that if I lived there, I would actively worry about tornadoes all the time. Because there's folks, and we have folks in chat that they live in Tornado Alley. Um, our thing is hurricanes. So it's really hard when you, you're really supposed to be focused only on the hurricanes. And Mother Nature's like, what if, what if you had some of these too? And I'm like, listen, I, I live here and I deal with this. I'm not supposed to deal with these. Gosh darn it. Then down in Charleston every once in a while they're like, what about maybe an earthquake? And I'm like, stop it. Just stop it. It's almost like the coast is a bad place to live. With all the flooding. What? Who would have ever thought that? Three new bits from Shy says, I've been returning to Monster Hunter Gen Ultimate to get into the Monster Hunter mindset for Rise. And I've run into... I've run into an interesting new issue. The game uh, just likes to crash in hub world menus. That seems bad. I mean, game crashes are bad just in general, but crashing in a menu is... That's not good. Like, of all of the parts of a game, you want the menu to work. <laughs> so hopefully that gets... Uh, fixed? Will they fix that? I don't know. 14 months from uh, Layla 3. Appreciate it. Uh, 14 months also from Just in the Light. Good morning from the guy who broke his ankle a couple months back. Quick update. Had to have surgery in February, and I'm on the road to recovery. Thanks for the good vibes from the community. Well, I mean, I'm glad that you're on the road to recovery. Breaking your ankle is terrible. It's something that I'm not intimately familiar with, but I can imagine, and I imagine that it is bad. <laughs> so, uh, I'm glad that surgery has apparently went well, and you're recovering. I've never, um, I've never broken a bone, actually. Have you, you've never broken a bone either, I have broke you? a toe. That you broke a it. toe. Oh, you they, broke a toe just, like, two years ago or yeah, something. Yeah, and they don't do anything for toes, except maybe, like, buddy tape them. Mm hmm Yeah. But, if I jump that ditch, <laughs> Dipsy Taj, 300 bits, he says, It's slow at work this morning and raining, so I'm listening in while playing Hades, at least until my boss cusses me out about it. <laughs> What's the button to hide on Windows? I don't know. On, on, on uh, Mac OS, it's, it's Command H for hide, so if you're... If you're working on something and your boss comes by, you just command H. Or I guess you could, yeah, you could alt tab, yeah. right? Because that works on um, that works on Mac too. It's it's command tab, but you just jump to the next window. Same thing. You just and if someone's coming by, you're like, what? No, I'm work. No, I'm working on this. This is what I'm working on. Work. Is there a is there a hide button? Okay, Windows. Yeah, Space Vixen says Windows D goes to desktop. Yeah, we've got that too. 
Is the, I don't know if there's a a hide on Windows. I don't think so. It's not really necessary. Like even on Mac. Like you could do all that four is not the same. All that four is close. That's our command Q for quit. I mean, you could minimize it. Is there a shortcut for minimize? On Mac? On Windows. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Certainly. Almost certainly. I'm just thinking about it. I'm like, what's the difference really between minimizing and hiding and I'm realizing that on Windows those are the same thing yeah because of how the OS works so minimizing on Windows would be the same as hiding Windows M okay yeah yeah that's weird uh, on so on Windows your application in your in your taskbar your individual windows are a part of that. On Mac, they're not. So if you minimize something, you have a special section on the dock where those windows go, and that's why hide and minimize are different. So if you minimize something, it sends that window into the special like window zone. And if you hide it, then it's still there, but it just all disappears from the screen. Do you hear a high-pitched noise? There's a piano playing. No. Like a high... No. Okay. I don't. Anyway. Moving on. I'm talking about operating systems. 11 months from Mike the Knight 512. Appreciate it. 10 months from uh, Little Asian Show. Asian shy, who says, happy 10 months. My birthday was yesterday, and happy belated St. Patrick's. Thank you, grandparents, for what you do. Well, happy, happy belated. belated birthday. Um, it was actually, uh, I didn't even realize. It was St. Patrick's Day? It was St. Patrick's Day until I uploaded the vlog last night. Like, and I edited the vlog, and I put the, the, the date in the vlog, and it was only on uploading it that I was like, I looked at the date and I was like, "Oh, it, that was it was St. Patrick's Day." Just no. Yeah. There was just nothing to tell me that. <laughs> oh, and that um, the other thing, the other uh, tell that I had was that uh, uh, Josh and Brooke and Tom and Liam did a St. Patrick's Day stream, and they had announced it as a St. Patrick's Day stream. And that was it. Like, otherwise, I had no idea... No idea it was St. Patrick's Day. I actually didn't forget Austin's birthday. I, uh, I'm, I, I sent him something for his birthday. I sent him a, co sent him a copy of Forager. <laughs> I, I sent him a message yesterday, and I was like, I was like, hey, have you played Slay the Spire? And he's like, <laughs> and he goes... He goes, yeah, man. He's like, he's like, I think you actually sent it to me for my birthday last year. And I was like, I was like, I was gonna send it to you for your birthday this year. He's like, yeah. He's like, you already sent it. He's like, it's great though. And I was like, have you played Forager? And he goes, no, I don't think so. And so I sent him a copy of Forager for for iOS. And um, we were talking and stuff, and I knew it was his birthday, but my brain did not connect. St. Patrick's. St. Patrick's. It just was not part of the equation. So it was only near the end of the day last night that I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Lunar Boy says, is that a good or bad gift in terms of productivity? Well, I mean, he's got a lot of downtime because Austin's a pilot. He's obviously not going to be playing Forager while piloting the plane. I hope. Um, but uh, when when he's not doing that, you know, going through the airports or whatever and sitting around. Waiting on flights. Waiting on things. You no, know, they're going to be waiting on flights just like passengers. You know, when that's happening, you got to have something to do. So, I know that he really likes to play, um, like, multiplayer games and stuff. Yeah. So, like, in the hotel and, and things like that, he'll have, um, I think he does a lot of stuff on his, on his laptop. Some, uh, in the past, I know that he would sometimes like take his Xbox or, or Switch, Switch or something mm -hmm. like that. But 
you know, you can't do all that when you're just sitting in the terminal. So ha I think having an iOS game is really helpful. Ten, uh, I read that. <laughs> I'm good at what I do. 300 bits from Line Rider. Who says, I need some good vibes today, Chad. I'm starting to hate one of my majors, and now I'm considering dropping it. Obviously, this would change my future plans drastically, and I lost sleep last night thinking about it. Well, let's start with good vibes. Mm -hmm. um, and send those first. Uh, it's... What you're facing is, like... It's a big decision, but I think it's also a decision that more people have thought about and faced than you think. And there's a, there's a level of solidarity there um, that you may not know about. So if anyone in chat has went through this very similar experience, um, speak up. Because one, one of the things that helps in situations like these is just realizing that you're, you're not alone. Um, knowing that other people have been in the, the exact same situation where you're, you're starting to question this sort of thing. Um, you know, it, that helps. And also, it's, it's really normal. It's I was really undeclared normal. for a year and a half. Yeah. You know, this it's it's a really normal thing to be working towards something and then suddenly be like, wait, hold on. Odo says, Steven, didn't you not choose your major until you got to SCAD? Yeah, I was um I was a year I was a year into college. I was a year into college. Because I was still on the fence between graphic design and film. And, um, you know, I hadn't, I had started to take some film classes, um, but I had also, I wasn't doing anything that would, like, obstruct me from, from doing, um, graphic design. Graphic design. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was hard to decide exactly what I wanted to do. And even after I started moving towards film very explicitly, there were a lot of times where I, I questioned it a little bit because I, I continued to enjoy, um, graphic design so much. Eventually it, it it became obvious to me that my my true interest was was film. Um, but it took a long time to get there. And there was a lot of times along the way where I was like, Am I, is this what I should be doing? Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe, you know, film is the hobby and graphic design is the career. Like which one, you know, wh where should I be? Um, and I think that's just a really common thing. So, um, Obviously, you want to. Con I would keep talking to people about it. I would keep considering it. Um, I would talk to a guidance counselor. Mm -hmm. Also, um, there's a lot of different little things that you could do. Uh, just know that it's not weird. I think that's the, the big takeaway. Is that this is a pretty normal, pretty normal thing to, to happen. And I wish you luck. I wish you luck. Uh, Randy B gifted a sub to Lilac Oligaki. Gochi. Goki. Gochi. Struggle with words. 30 months from Coffee Cats. That's two plus. 30 months, that's a long time. It is a long time. Yeah. It is the longest time. I mean, in our in our tiny corner of the internet, it is the maximum amount of time. At least for now. Yeah. In a, a few more weeks, I think it'll be 31. But. All a Gochi. Okay. I, I know I've said it Lilac Oligochi before. I have. And now you've forgotten? Well, my my brain does this thing where like... It questions... It questions mm -hmm. it and then it's like, wait, what if you've said it wrong forever? And I'm like, oh no, what if I've said it wrong forever? The brain's like, better, better try this new thing. <laughs> and that happens. That happens sometimes. really good 534 bits from a cell with a knee finally getting to uh finally getting to uh get a try and uh, at dming again uh as me my siblings and i are going to start playing a module this saturday i'm excited for the prep but also to see what characters they make as we're making them together fun that's really exciting i uh i miss that a lot i i don't know when I'm gonna have time to dive into that in a way that, because it really re it requires a, a fair bit of time. Yeah. Um, but I miss that a lot, and it's it's so much fun, and it's really fun as the DM to work with your players on 
figuring out like what the backstory stuff is and how you can incorporate parts of the character that they want to make into your story. It's all super fun. Super, super fun. I remember when we did a, um, a campaign uh, forever ago mm -hmm. and uh, I had worked in part, it was Jarrett's character, I had worked in parts of his backstory into the one, main story. Into the main story. And it was super cool to see his eyes light up whenever it was like, it was like his long lost brother was part of the guild or whatever. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was fun. Uh, 300 bits from DC Racer. There he is. Hi, Kid Beast. You took a while. You busy? You Did you have a meeting? You had meetings? Come here. You got a new product coming out? Come on. You got a lot of stuff to do? Yeah. Come on up. Yeah. We've been waiting on you. We've been waiting on you. Come on up. Jump up here. I think he knows there's a storm coming. He's acting strange. Come here. There he is. Okay. Hi. Hi. It took, took, took a while. Yeah, what's the name? What is the name of Kepler's new Are product? Are you able to reveal that? What is that? What'd you make? What are we releasing? Thank you for for sniffing my uh, my pop tarts. I have concluded there is no meat in this meat pie, <laughs> therefore it is just pie. <laughs> He's a good boy. Three hundred bits from DC Racer, who says got my first COVID vaccine yesterday. My arm is pretty sore. Guess all those tracking chips from the government are working. Jokes aside, excited to get back to normal, uh, or get back to the normal soon. Congratulations. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah, things are things are moving. I mean, it's every week now. You know, I'm, I'm hearing again from from personal friends and family in the now, especially from viewers, because there's such a there's a lot of folks here. So there's a lot of folks from that different are, places. From different and, places, mm -hmm. and that's exciting. I love like to hear about it. Four states moving to anyone can get vaccinated. Connecticut, mm -hmm. Tennessee. Is no, Tennessee? Mississippi. Mississippi. Ohio's on the 29th, I think, and um, Oklahoma, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's at, I mean, it, again, one of the downsides of, of um, you know, state-based rollout is that it's, um, it's kind of up in the air. You don't know what your state's going to do. Utah's on April 1st. Cool. Lunar Pearl says you get theirs today. Cool. It's exciting. It's exciting. I'm glad that um, we're, you know, we're seeing this, so. Hmm. Penguin Frog says, I'm part of public serving government employees, not sure when everyone is eligible. The thing that's been a little frustrating um, is that because it is by state, different states have different rollouts, but then on top of that, the um, occupation lists that they've put up are completely different. Mm -hmm. So as an example, um, one of our friends uh, has a particular occupation and she was eligible in South Carolina, like at, basically at the beginning. They even like listed her occupation very explicitly in the list of like, hey, if you're this, you can get vaccinated. In her state, they didn't. So she had no idea when she could get vaccinated. She's like, you know, I'm dealing with the public every day. In a medical setting. In a medical setting. I feel like I should be able to get it. But it was never explicitly said. And um, finally, it was one of those things where she, I think she had to end up just like calling around a bunch. Yeah. And basically well, she just... she called the state helpline and they were like, we've never heard of that job. Which is insane. I know. Whoever was on the other side of that line questionable intelligence. It's a common occupation. Um, anyway, uh, she got it. She got it. But, it, you know, to some, to some degree, uh, she almost kind of had to take it into her own hands and, yeah, be like, and be like, I feel like I'm eligible. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I'm putting anyone else out by getting this. I deal with the public every day. It's a risk if I don't do it. So she got it. Worked out okay. But again... State-based rollout. And the thing that sucks is that when you talk to other people, 
depending on what state they're in, they'd be like, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure you could do that. But then you look at your state and it's like, yes, no. <laughs> so it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. It will get easier, and I, I, that's the solace that I tell mm -hmm. myself is that, you know, as, as time goes on, it's going to get easier, and it can be frustrating to be in a state that um, feels like it's collectively scratching its head, being like, how will we do this? Versus a state that it's like, we are now opening it up to everyone. Like, I get it. It's frustrating. But also, we've come this far, so it's just kind of like, well. Yeah. Soon. Just a little bit longer. 500 bits from Silver Fist. Uh, who says, hi, could I have some of the good vibes after a tough mental time since the holidays when I got four fevers in one month? I'm starting to get better. Also, what's your opinion on Blizzard games? Coffee. I'm glad that you're uh, starting to get better. Because that's a, that's a lot of... That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so good vibes. Um, I don't have any strong opinions on Blizzard games. I never really played them. I didn't really grow up playing... Um, I mean, I didn't really play a ton of computer games growing up, actually. I played The Sims, and uh, I played Outlaws. Uh, but otherwise, I didn't really grow up with, like, Warcraft and, and things like that. I never played WoW, aside from a very, very short stint with a, uh, uh, with a modded server where the experience was, like, super, super high, so there was no grind. Um, so yeah, I really don't, I don't have a whole lot of opinions. And what's the other one they made? Overwatch? I have no idea. I couldn't name any of them Overwatch. until you started naming some. And I was like, oh yeah. I've never played Overwatch. So... I can't tell you. Actually, have I... Hold on. Aside from my brief stint with that WoW uh, server one time, have I ever played a Blizzard game? Did they make Diablo? <laughs> Because I played Diablo a little. Okay, Diablo. I've played a little bit of Diablo. And that's it. So yeah, I, I actually, uh, I can't tell you anything about it. I've never played Hearthstone. Um, I've played StarCraft for like five minutes. Maybe. Never mind. I can't, I can't, um, I can't, I can't give you any opinions on 17 months uh, from Justice for Ifadamas. Appreciate it. 30 bits from Night Owls. Uh, so last week I asked for good vibes because I was going to be teaching my first class on Tuesday. I have to report that it went so well that I'm teaching again this afternoon. Totally need to remember to breathe when teaching the lecture part of the lesson this time, though. That'll get easier. Breathing seems important, but also, yeah, uh, whatever Mouse says. I've never taught. I mean, even in my fifth year of teaching, like, the first day of school is always, like, whew, like, mm -hmm. and I'm sure even that gets better someday, but at some point it'll be very common to you to walk in front of students and talk. It's nice here that it gets easier. <laughs> Thomas says, but, but I have so much to say in my sentence, I don't have time to breathe. Three hundred five bits from Ice Jogobo with the eight bit sip star rain. Appreciate it. Eight months from Speed Lunky. Hi, grandparents. Been having a bit of a crappy week recently, but watching your stream is always fun. Can I get some good vibes from my multivariable calculus test today? Yeah, good vibes. I don't even really know what that is, and that's why you probably need extra, because I don't, I don't even really understand what that statement means. So I hope it goes good. <laughs> Oh yeah, Blizzard made rock and roll racing. Okay, I've played a, I mean, yeah, I've played a little of that. But I, I have never sunk any reasonable amount of time into a Blizzard game, I guess. The person you should really be asking is Alex, who has put one year of actual playtime into World of Warcraft. Border bits from Konosuga, good news, finally got Wi-Fi at home. The speeds are good, but we only get a terabyte each month, and the overuse charge is $10 every gig over. So, but it was our only choice, so yay. Also, it's named Kepi Toast. <laughs> Man, that is, that is, um, that is big oof. I, if your router supports it, my first thing I would do, uh, is put a, um, a alert on the router for data usage. 
It's the very first thing I would do. I would, I'm, I, I'm, I'm like horrified to death of that very specific scenario where you are paying for not the service, but the amount of data. Um, like that, that's the sort of thing that would keep me up at night. Uh, but a terabyte is a fair bit. Uh, just if, if your router supports it, I would really set that up. I would really set that up. That way you just know. Yeah. Because if you get to a terabyte, if, if you get to a terabyte, you're going to go over. You're at, if you can if you can use a thousand gigs in a month, and you pay ten dollars after every gig, you're you're gonna you're gonna just soar past that. You're gonna soar past that. So just you know, just some keeping something keep in mind. Um, and if your router doesn't support it, it might actually even be worth investing in a router that does. Just so you know, just because then your router would just tell you, be like, hey, you're at nine hundred and eighty gigs this month. And then you could be like, oh, and then be careful from that. So, yeah. But hey, Wi-Fi home. And like you said, your only choice. Don't you love that? Don't you love that? Whew, there's an old uh, uh, South Park bit about that. I don't remember. Well, the, IS the ISP's like, oh, oh what's, that. You know, what's that? We're your only choice? Oh, so sorry to hear that. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I, I'm actually very grateful that where we are, we actually have several ISPs, including a local one, which is who we use. Um, but there's so many places in the States that there's just not... There's just not. Anyway, uh, 300, 300 bits from Andrew in the kitchen. He says, our school was told of vaccines that were uh, excess and they were offered to staff, so I'm getting the vaccine in about three hours. Cool. And yes, I am watching on my school laptop. Laptop. Oop. Toasty. Well, that's awesome. Fantastic. Yeah, there's a, there's a fair bit of, um, you know, vaccines around depending on where you are. And which one. And which one. Um, there's, there's certainly some level of availability. It just depends, because um, we heard, because Mal went to the optometrist. Yeah. And the optometrist said that there's a, a clinic that's, there's a clinic that, that gives out the vaccine that's pretty close to uh, a grocery store around it's here. It's a pharmacy. It's, it's a pharmacy. It's pretty close to a grocery store. And that uh, there's been a few times where, like, they go over to the grocery store and say, hey, could you make an announcement that if anyone wants the vaccine to come get it because we're going to... It's gonna, the end of the day. It's the end mm -hmm. of the day and we're going to... It's going to go bad. So people that have been shopping in the grocery store just occasionally will get, hey, if you want a vaccine, you can come get it. And it's the Johnson & Johnson one, so it's one shot. Yeah. So, like, you've got that and then the flip side is, you know, some states where it's like, when will you get it? I don't know, July? Mad rush of customers. Can well, you can you imagine being in the supermarket and being like, and bread and bananas? And I'm sorry. Well, the the optometrist was saying she said that we have a lot of these tiny little pharmacies in our area for some reason. Yeah. And there's like five up in North Myrtle Beach, and she said that they were given a bunch of Johnson and Johnson and said, could you maybe please try and get this amount out in three weeks? And they did it in less than a week. Yeah. So now the state's sending them more, so people are getting them faster than the state expected. So things yeah. are moving faster than expected in our area, she said. Overall, I mean, good news. Mm -hmm. uh, 14 months from item crafting, crafting live, having toasted cranberry dark chocolate bread for breakfast. That is a lot of... Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of words to describe that. They're all necessary, but goodness... Uh, which leads to this question. What's the most interesting bread you've ever had? Doesn't have to be best, just most interesting. I don't know. Uh, I mean, there's been, on occasion we've, I don't know if this is the, the most interesting, but on occasion we have uh, bought some uh, cinnamon chocolate raisin bread. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's that's really good stuff. Um, I've had it with and without chocolate, and that's just that's really good stuff. I really like that. 
it is also probably one of the best. It's extremely, it's extremely good. Uh, seven months from Blazing Phoenix. Happy seven months. Can't wait for tomorrow's Breath of the Wild stream since I missed the last one. Hope you have a wonderful day because all good days start out with breakfast. I do like breakfast. I do like... <laughs> Big breakfast really changed the mentality of Americans in whatever it was, the 1940s or 50s. But you know what? I'm fine with it because uh, it's good. And I do, I do feel like uh, if I eat something good at the beginning of the day that I perform better. Like, I'm more alert, and I'm... Yeah. I do a better job of, like, keeping up on stuff. So, maybe there's something to that. Uh, 3D Bits and Pickletron, let Kepi know that there may or may not be donuts at the next Coffee. meeting. He's sleeping. He had early morning. Very early morning. <laughs> we, um... We forgot to get donuts. I was actually, I actually intended to pick up, I mean, not a, like a dozen or anything, just like one. I was going to get a donut because uh, when we were getting the oil changed, it was down near where the good donut place was, mm -hmm. and I forgot. And I didn't remember until we were basically back home, and I was like, crap. And I was like, we could go to like Dunkin' Donuts, and I was like, it's not the same. It's not the same. I wanted to go to the good donut place. Well, we're going to probably have to go down to Costco next week. We're almost out of bread and we're almost out of milk. Yeah, well, you know, there will there will be an opportunity. Yeah. There will be an opportunity. Favorite donut flavor, uh, chocolate iced with vanilla cream. Absolute favorite. Boston cream is mine. Yeah, which I mean, those are basically the same donuts except the fillings. Yeah. One, you have Boston cream and mine's vanilla cream. If uh, if that's not available, then I'll do just vanilla cream. Yeah, black. <laughs> I see some folks were here on Friday. <laughs> black donuts. Chocolate glazed for, for everyone else. They are basically, they are black donuts. They're good too. I like them. Um, they're very, uh, I don't know. I can't eat more than one of those though. Like, um, to be honest, I can't eat more than one of most any donuts because they're all Too they're much. so rich. Mm -hmm. Three hundred bits from Furry Zoe. I say Kepler's new product is called Kepnip. It's a new type of catnip, and it will be a big hit because its target audience consists of Kepler and only Kepler. Is that right, Kepi? It's a really terrible way to run a company, but Kepler doesn't Kepler doesn't care much about that, sir. We're we're working on the final designs of Kepnip. Good, good. I want it released as soon as possible. Okay, but... You got any more samples? You're the only one that likes it. I know, yes. Correct. <laughs> Andrew says, Kepler's like my boss. Just kind of sits there. <laughs> Ice Chocobo gives us up to a doodle. Appreciate it. 300 Bits from Shy says, uh, I came close to changing my major, but two things stopped me. One... I found switching meant redoing the past two and a half years from scratch. And two, when I was on the cusp, I realized that it was the equivalent of me running away because it's hard, and that made me mad at myself. And that's a fair that's a fair take. I think it depends because different people are going to be in different situations. Um, sometimes, sometimes it could feel like running away because it's hard. That could be part of it. The flip side of that is it could be just a realization. Sometimes you have to do classes in something for a while before you realize, you know what? Maybe this isn't for me. Maybe this isn't really something that I want to spend the rest of my life with. <laughs> um, identifying which of those situations it is, is probably the hard part, but also the, the most helpful part too. So, And sometimes you find advice. you still love, love the subject, but the thought of it, what the actual job would entail for whatever reason is just like, I'm not interested in that. So yeah. you have to find something else related to the subject that's not that job that you have been working for. Yeah. Again, sometimes sometimes there's a realization that you like the thing, you just don't want it to be your career. It's totally fair. It's, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, there's nothing wrong with, with coming to the realization that there's a thing that you enjoy and it's something that you want to continue enjoying. <laughs> Basically. Three and a bits. From Gamer Girl, which says, Morning, Stephen Amal. I get my COVID vaccine today uh, because I have epilepsy, so in Iowa, I qualify for it. Nice. 
congrats, an early congrats on getting the vaccine. Um, like I said earlier, uh, I've got, I got different friends that are getting it uh, as soon as this week, and it's very, very exciting. Quite a bit of family has it. Yep. Uh, 30 months from Danny, who says, can I get some good vibes this morning? I've been looking for a house for a while now, and I have to choose this weekend. Apparently this house has been sold now, and my landlord is kicking us out a week earlier than expected. Uh. Uh, yeah, good vibes. I hate that. Seriously hate that. Um, I hope everything goes well. I hope, I hope that in a short amount of time, you'll be able to look back on this and be like, well, hey, it's over, I'm moving on. Life continues, I've got other things to do. Um, I just hate the phrase, I hate the phrase my landlord is kicking us out. I really hate the phrase my landlord is kicking us out a week earlier than expected. It's not a good phrase. It's not a good phrase. Been there, done that, and uh, hated the experience. Uh, 27 months from Jennifer Jack. He says, hi, Stephen Amell. I overslept for work today, so a little groggy this morning. 27 months, wow. My Twitch babies show up as toast and they don't last long because they're delicious with butter and grape jelly. Yum. I cannot disagree with you. These are true facts. 300 bits from Shy. He says, ultimately, I decided to stay the course and I don't regret it. The one thing I'd say to others is give yourself appropriate time to think it over and make sure you do it for the right reasons that you won't regret. Coffee. Good information. Very good information. I sincerely hope that we've given them enough to think about, and then anyone who mm -hmm. is in this, because again, a lot of people are in this situation, or they will be in this situation. Maybe they just started college and they're not very far into it, um, but there probably is going to come a point where you start to go, wait, hold on. So that's normal. Um, hopefully this will be a breakfast stream that you remember and, and some of the information that was shared between us and then certainly uh, the viewers will be helpful. Because um, you'll run into it at some point. You almost certainly will. You he left and then came back. He says, I regretted it. I'm so sorry. Did you want my lap? Yeah, maybe. Wow. He's changing up. Come here. Get over there. He forgot his tail is attached to his body. He forgets that a lot. There you you gonna go. sit? You want snuggles? Is that why you're like facing me? Hello. See, he didn't get snuggles from you. Mm -hmm. I don't do the snuggles. Do you want snuggles? He doesn't know. You want snuggles. Oh, snuggles? I got you. You're fine. There's snuggles. You get a snuggle. It's time for a snuggle. Oka boy? Little chicken leg? Eight months. From Blue Sonic. This is eight months already. Hi. If it wasn't for you and Mallory, <coughs> I wouldn't know who Jared, Jack, Emil, and others from, uh, are from TRG. In case I'm not around, happy birthday, Steven. Hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my birthday is on uh, Saturday, for those not aware. Uh, obviously, we won't be doing a, a stream on Saturday. Um, but I don't know. We'll, we'll mention it, like, tomorrow or something. We'll mention your birthday tomorrow. We'll mention my birthday. I mean, sometimes, sometimes it goes, sometimes the stream goes past midnight. Mm -hmm. Like, just barely. So you can sing to me then. Oh, okay. Here you go. Uh, we haven't run beans, have we? Nope. All right. <laughs> beans. 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 Thank you, Beans. They're gonna do it some night houses. By the way, did you guys see the new Animal Crossing update? If not, stop reading. I did. But if you did, are you excited about the 50 new custom design slots they're adding? And also Bunny Day is back. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a good, it's a objectively good addition. I mean, the designs are. But <laughs> Bunny Day is subjective. Um, but there is some new stuff for Bunny Day this time around. Uh, so there's, it's a, there's a new product in the Nook shop um, every day 
from the 28th of March until the 4th of April. So for like a week, you go into the shop and there's something new that's related to Bunny Day. But otherwise, it's the same Bunny Day. And, um, you know, not really an incentive to play the game, if I'm being completely honest. But the designs, the designs are good. Learn to bits from Gold Mage. I only really started eating breakfast regularly when I started watching Breakfast Stream Live around a year in. Speaking of which, does it affect you negatively if I switch from regular subscription to a Prime one? No. No. Um, I, as far as I, as far as I know, there's no difference. There's no difference on our end between those. So, if if there is, I don't know about it, but I don't think so. I think I think they're the same. Uh, 300 bits. Konosuga says, uh, to ease your mind a little, we made sure to keep our phones off of the Wi-Fi and keep all of our streaming video on the phones uh, since we have unlimited data there. Oh, the Wi-Fi gets used for everything else like the little gaming I do in Splatoon and Animal Crossing. Okay. Oh my god, that makes me feel so much better. I mean, also, like, I'm mad at your ISP. I'm really mad. I, I feel, I really feel like they should not be allowed to do that. If I had my way, that would be illegal um, to, to do that sort of thing. But it does make me feel better that at least you're not at risk there, because if you've got unlimited phone data, yeah, you can use that for... I mean, real, and really what the, the big thing is, is streaming video. Mm -hmm. we, live, we live in an era where it's actually really easy to use several hundred gigs of data now, because that's what people do. That's their entertainment. People don't have cable. People watch Netflix. People watch YouTube. And all of these things use... I mean, if you're watching, you know, if you're watching a few hours each night, you're using massive amounts of data in a month. So, yeah, I'm glad that you have that because um, if you didn't, that would be, I, I would be, I would be very scared for you. <laughs> I'd be very scared. Uh, Vegetable Store Bay gives three subs to uh, Hi Hi Becky, Siraj J, or Siraj G, and uh, T Chaos. Appreciate that. Thank you for those milk bombs. Uh, eight months from Land 144. Uh, seven months from DJ Moore 15. On the note of changing majors, my freshman meteorology class started at 40 to 50 people. I graduated with only six others. It is totally normal to change. That's a really wow. good, like, mm -hmm. real world example. Yeah. There's a, and, and that, that applies to, I think, almost everything, too. Is there will be times where you're like, you know, something sounds good in your head, or maybe you like elements of it, and then once you start to get into, you know, the meat and potatoes of it, you realize that, yeah, that's maybe not what you want to do. And that's totally okay. Uh, 30 bits from Danny. Instead of revenue, Kepi's financial statements consist of how many scoops he gets each quarter. Kepi, how many scoops do you want? Uh, well, how many does he want, or how many does he get? Because those are extremely different numbers. He submits what he wants to us, and uh, we're procurement, so we submit back how many he actually gets. Yeah, we have fights about this daily. Because, you know, he'll be like meowing at me in the kitchen, and I'm like, I fed you 60 minutes ago. You do not get fed again for three hours. <laughs> and he'll be like, but I've never eaten before. Ever. Happens a lot. Three to five bits for Pickletron. With the eight bit comfy. Star Rain. Is that Cappy? He's a comfy he boy. Comfy. Three to from Anne. Uh, at my parents' house over the weekend, we looked at some old photos. Saw my grandmother in 1947, who looks like my little sister does now, and my mother in 1980, who looks like I do now. Continuity can be comforting. Yeah, there's a. We, we probably talked about it, maybe showed it at some point in the past, but um, Mal's grandmother, um, her grandmother who's still alive, um, the photos of her at Mal's age look like Mal. Like, really, really look like Mal. It's kind of wild. And uh, we've shown them to, like, my mom and stuff before, and my mom thought that it was Mal. Thought that like, we ran it I through a Photoshop filter. I posted a photo in, filter. in Discord, and Alex is like, it you, and I'm like, no, it not me. <laughs> yeah, so. And your grandfather looks like you. Well, you look like him. Yeah. And you know, actually, one of the things that I've thought um, recently, sometimes I'm editing vlogs and with long hair, especially yesterday, I wore my hair in a ponytail. And yesterday, especially, I was looking at it and um, with my hair in a ponytail, uh, I look a little bit like my uncle. 
like mm. my mom's brother. Um, and I see it every once in a while, and I see it specifically with long hair because he always wore his hair long. He always wore it in a ponytail. And it's so bizarre to see it, you know, whenever it sticks out at you. Hey, Peggy! 23, uh, 2033 bits from Zeta Program 142. CEO Peggy from Peggy Industries is challenging Stephen Corp to, uh, for the buying out of Kepler Enterprises. On a side note, still trying to figure out whether to focus on app dev or cybersecurity, so there's that. Well, good luck with that decision. Um, and I think that those are both like, those are both really good uh, directions to go. So I, I feel like you won't go wrong in, in either one. Um, as for buying out Kepler Enterprises, I'm not sure that Kepler is uh, willing to sell. Huh, Kepi? It's the sort of thing you'd be like, I have to sleep on it. But then he just, like, sleeps. Yeah. And when he wakes up and you ask him, he's like, I need to, I probably have to sleep. Again. I need to sleep again. <laughs> also, that's a mood. 15 months from uh, Moonlit Boulevard. He says, hi, Stephen Mowen. Happy early birthday, Stephen. I haven't been able to watch live lately because of some new health issues I've been dealing with, but I'm glad to be here this morning. Hope you guys are doing well and have a fantastic day. Well, I, uh, I'm sorry to hear about the health issues. I hope that those can be sorted out at some point. Um, but I appreciate the birthday wishes. Um, it's going to be another weird one. Yeah. But I get to spend it with you. Uh-huh. That's my favorite thing. Yeah. So, like, that's still good. It is good. Well, you know, at some point we'll, like, go do a thing. Yeah. I don't know when that'll be, but at some point. Uh, 300 bits from uh, Gherkinoff, who says, Pretty sure uh, Kepler Enterprises is privately... Yeah. <laughs> Kepi is a private company? You got stock options? Pri privately traded. Privately traded. So funny, the the way that he's been laying lately is um, the entire length of my lap, and then his little head is like dangling over your knees, over my knees, mm -hmm. and like I guess that's comfortable. He wouldn't do it if it wasn't comfortable, but it's just really bizarre. I don't understand why. I will let I'll let everyone know when you can buy Kep shares. Um, whenever that starts being publicly traded, you'll be the first to know. Uh, 300 from Shinoth who says, uh, since I won't make it Friday, happy early birthday, Steven. Also, I recently watched some Custom Smash, and now I've been thinking about Steven being very happy to receive John's peanuts. Oh god, what was the... I forget what it was. There was, there was some joke in there that I had made about Master? It was like Master of the Nut? I don't know. My, anytime I do those, my, my, my job is based yeah master of the nut and apprentice of the nut the, my my job in those is basically just to i mean to get everyone laughing but especially john i'm 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 trying to i'm trying to get john to laugh there's so hard there's been a few times you've made john laugh so hard that he can't breathe and, yeah, that's and now I'm, you just try and do that all the time that's just my goal mm -hmm. this is what i'm always trying always trying to do um it's great oh this this song Sure. Sure. I guess this was not ever marked Coffee. off. Are you going to mark it off? I, you know, there's a part of me. There's a part of me that really wants to leave it Why in. Why can't you just search vocal and uncheck all those? Because it's it affects a very small amount. There's very few that are set that way. Uh huh. Chess is its tradition. This song goes hard. I marked it off, but now I almost want to, like, leave it in. I'm gonna leave it in. I'm gonna leave it in. If it comes up again, if Mary Had a Little Lamb comes up again, I'll mark it off. But it gets it gets to last one more time. It, provi it provides me too much joy. It gives me joy. Is there any bits from uh, Kyle Jensen? He says, before I took uh, classes to get into the gaming industry, I actually wanted to be an architect. I only took one class for it, and I realized over the course of that semester that I would have hated being an architect. So I get why people want to change majors, because I've been there. It's fair. 
It's fair. I actually, I think there was um, there's a fair bit of turnover in SCAD's architecture. Yeah. Um, classes as well. Program. So mm -hmm. yeah, I I, t I totally understand that. Um, and actually, art school was interesting because you know a lot of people have several different art things that they're interested oh, in. Yeah. So a lot of people get to school in there trying a lot of different things. There's, there was some, um, because I heard, they would, uh, the people in the classes would talk about that. They would be taking classes and they'd be like, you know, I'm in this class for, you know, graphic design, but, you know, maybe I should be doing illustration. I don't know. I love both. What should I be doing? And then they have to figure that out. Or sequential or... Yeah. There's just, there's so much. Mm-hmm. There's so much. Three from Green Rupee. Birds are chirping. I've got tulip on the brain, so today's going to be a nice day. Nice. I hope everyone finds the equivalent of, is it gold poopy? Is that the good one? Because there, there's several poopies, but like gold poopy is good, right? I don't remember. I, there's big poopy, which is bad, I think. Big poopy is bad and hurts you. Yeah. But I think gold poopy is good. It's been several years now. I can't remember all about Poopy because it's been so long. Yeah, because you can sell it. Gold is good. That's right. Because there's, there's, you know, you find, you find the Poopy in the trash can not so You know good. what I was surprised about in our Let's Play that never happened? What's that? It, did it happen once? When we go through the tunnel between the, the right side of town and the left side of the main town, there's a guy sitting in the tunnel. Did he ever speak to us? Oh, the guy that does um, fortunes or something? Yeah. I remember you talking about it. Now I don't remember if it happened. I don't think it happened, but he tells you fortunes. Yeah, we were never stopped. You, I remember you talking about it, but you, we never saw it. Yeah. So, you know, buy Tulip and buy it for yourself. When I played it, when I got it, like, it happened just randomly, and then I was like, wait, this can happen? And then I had to go look it up. I wonder if there's any other little things in that game that, like, we don't know about that we didn't see or something I like that. I don't think so. Um, I mean, we were pretty... Um, thorough? We were pretty thorough, fortunately. <laughs> uh, fortunately or unfortunately. I remember we were really losing our sanity. There was a part... I mean, looking for the frogs was, like... Yeah. Really frustrating, but then the other there's the part where you um where you're manager for a day and you have to go in and you have to sneak through the factory. There's this long thing you have to go through this huge long uh factory part and then get a kiss and if you miss it you have to start the whole thing over again. And there's residents in the factory that only show up on certain times of day and you have to go to the right floors at the right time to get them. Yeah, it was, um, yeah, I stand by my, 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 my previous claim that Tulip is a fun game to watch. It's not that fun to play, uh, unfortunately. Um, well, it's probably fine to play. It's not fun to 100%. The amount of, the amount of, uh, the amount of effort to try and do everything necessary in that game to get, you know, the perfect score is, uh, extremely frustrating. So... They're talking about re-releasing it um, on modern consoles. I mm -hmm. hope they do, and I hope people buy it. I hope people support that company because Onion Games is great, and they do really wild stuff. That being said, it's, you know, it's, yeah, it's a little frustrating. But it was, it was not as bad as Pikmin 2. Pikmin 2 was, uh, Pikmin 2 was a million times more stressful. Because, like, Tulip, there was just sections you had to redo. Pikmin 2, like, when you lost your Pikmin, you're losing progress that you have to then work on, so... Ace Wallywog says, the soundtrack makes it worth it. Yeah, Tulip soundtrack is good. Yeah. And that's, like, you can find that on, on YouTube. I wonder if it's on Spotify. I don't know. It might be some. There's there's quite a bit of game music that's uh, that's on Spotify. I was surprised. Um, it really depends, like which uh, like music publisher did it, because some of them are on there. So 
Oh, nice. Tabas says, uh, learned happy, shabby life on piano, and it's so much fun. Yeah, that's, it really is some, it's, it's a really great soundtrack. I wonder if they would consider, re like, re-releasing the soundtrack. Maybe. I don't know if that was on their little, um... Checklist of things? Maybe. Yeah, because they did a little, uh, survey. I can't remember if that was on there or not. It would be cool if they re-released re that onto vinyl or something so more people could, uh, in enjoy that. Anyway, um... Let's start talking about the things that are coming up. Uh, today is... Thursday. True. Uh, the it's, 18th. It, it's, it's Pikmin. Today is notable because it is the beginning of um, Battle Enemies. It's, it's, conti it's the continuation of Mission Mode, but it's the beginning of the Battle Enemies segment for, um, for Mission Mode. Uh, more Extra Life. Mm-hmm. Today is House of the Dead Overkill. Um, it's rated M. It's really, really rated M. Do not let your kids watch House of the Dead Overkill. Um, and that's it for today. The vlog. Uh, there's a vlog scheduled for 3 p.m. Eastern. A stream tomorrow. Stream tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll be back into Zelda. I really hope that we get more accomplished in Zelda tomorrow than we did last week. Because that's uh, a goal. Yeah. Really hoping. <laughs> really hoping that we. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, stuff got done last week. It's just we spent a lot of the time looking for that trident. Yeah. Like a lot of the time. Like a, a lot of time. Uh, and then otherwise, that's it. Um, there is a video that is supposed to be out Saturday for Stephen and Friends. It might even be on the calendar. I have not received it yet from Dan, so I'm a little hesitant to announce it. So... We'll see what happens. Um, it might be out. I hope it's out, but it might not. It'll, it'll depend on if Dan has it done. Um, and then that's it. Thomas says, just release Codenames 2 instead. I mean, he hasn't done that either, so like... He would have to. He would have to drop what he's working on and do that. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Um, and that's it. Saturday is my birthday, but you know, that's just like happening here. Yeah. In the house. And uh, no other announcements. No. I believe that's it. It is. This is this is this very inspirational music. It's a lot. It's a lot. Alright, um, okay. Good vibes to everyone with the severe weather today who has it. Yeah. Please, please be safe, um, because it's gonna get nasty. Y'all have a good day. Work hard, or relax hard, and, uh, we'll see you tomorrow night. What time is... 8, 8 p.m. Eastern! I always forget. 8 p.m. Eastern for uh, Breath of the Wild.